Healthcare uh, is easily the most serious drain on our resources there is. Uh, what I mentioned, Social Security and the unfunded promises is one of the uh, issues that needs to be confronted. Medicare is about seven times bigger than Social Security in terms of the problem. Furthermore, with Social Security, I think a, a group of us could sit around the table and between reducing benefits for the well-off, maybe doing something about the retirement age, maybe letting us well off, uh, pay a slightly higher proportion of payroll taxes. There's five or six major reforms that aren't all that draconian. When it comes to Medicare, the solutions are not nearly as well known and, and uh, uh, tougher in many, many ways. Now, another number that may shock you we are racing towards spending 20% of our gross domestic product uh, on health care. That's nearly twice what the rest of the world, our competitors, are spending. And therefore, I would argue that our health care costs are one of the most anti-competitive forces in this country. Because that difference of 8 or 10% of the gross domestic product would fund an awful lot of badly needed investments uh, in this country. Now, we feel strongly enough about this at the foundation that we're setting up a health care value institute that focuses not simply on outcomes of alternative health practices, but the value, because we have a system now that encourages volume and not value. And I don't care where you look, as you compare us to the rest of the world, even though our outcomes are, if anything, a little worse, we do far more CAT scans and so forth than other countries do. We have an incentive system that is truly perverse. It's called fee for service which means that doctors and hospitals get paid by the number of procedures and operations they do. And given that many of them are worried about liability from lawsuits, there's an immense force toward doing more, whether it's necessary or not. So we're going to devote a lot of our resources to improving value in healthcare.